In this video, I'm dusting off my BR goggles to try out Beat Blaster. So I think it was back in kind of end of February time, uh, Ivanovich Games sent me a copy of Beat Blaster to check out. And unfortunately I just haven't had time to kind of get my VR goggles back on again. Um, but this weekend I finally managed to kind of get my HTC Vive up and running again and uh, try this game out and share it a little bit with you guys. So the whole idea of this game is kind of as the title suggests in a way, um, there's various music and everything playing uh, in the background of the game and you have two blaster guns. You can choose to have uh, one blaster gun or two blaster guns. Um, but it's got some additional element in there as well where you're using actually the head tracking to kind of guide you through the levels. So if you tilt your head forwards or backwards, it helps move you forwards or kind of slows you down and, and kind of, doesn't move you backwards but it kind of slows you down and left and right to move left and right and at the same time you've got to you know use your blasters to shoot different things so initially i found this game really frustrating so it took a while for me to kind of get to grips with the fact that you know, a few things are happening obviously as expected, I'm using my hands to control the blasters, but also I'm having to orientate myself to both what's happening in the game, so where I'm heading you know, motion-wise. So obviously I'm going forwards too fast, I've got to move left and right, so I'm not using my body, it's all based on you know, my head. And obviously then there's different elements in the game. So there's moving doors, there's different things shooting at you or things to hit. And as you progress through, obviously it gets a little bit harder. And if you're someone that likes music like I do, uh, sometimes your uh, body may decide to move with the beat of the music and obviously that can then also bop you into a wall. So initially the first, I guess the first two games I played, I was kind of frustrated and I was like, damn, this game is annoying. I don't want to play it anymore. Um, but then, then I realized that I did want to play it. So it's kind of that, there's definitely a good strong challenge in there and the game is enjoyable and kind of each time you're like, damn it, I I'm going to try again to better my last scoring and try again and again and again. So I was really enjoyed it the few times I've played it so far. Um, I kind of recommend it. I think it's about £16 on Steam. The game hasn't been out very long. It hasn't been any updates in the time that I've played it. Um, but I thought it was a, a good and enjoyable game and it's a bit different. You know, I don't think I've really played any other games before that utilize kind of your head and, the, and its kind of position in your play space um, to basically move you around the game. So definitely check this out if um, kind of the overlays that you've seen are something that you think you'd enjoy. Um, obviously the great thing about any games on Steam is if it doesn't meet up to expectation within that time frame and you haven't played it for too long, I think it's uh, less than two hours, obviously you can get a refund, but I think this is a good fun game, uh, something a little bit different and, you know, get to bop to a bit of music and try not to smash into the walls and shoot all the things. What's not to like? Thanks for watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.